Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Some Simple Gaming. My name's Someone Dot. Today we're playing this game it's called Cycle. It's a free-to-play game off of Epic Games. You can go to Epic Games in your browser and uh, download the launcher. Epic Games, you know, Epic Games from Fortnite, and they have a lot, lots of different games. It's not, not just Fortnite. They have a whole slew of games, huge list of games that you can go and actually download. Uh, for free and uh, you know for purchase but this is a PVE player versus environment versus player you're fighting monsters as well as doing quest tasks it is sort of like a battle royale um, because you can kill other players uh, 20 ma 20 from what I understand it's 20 players for maps per map I'm not for sure you play I know you can play singles uh, well, solo, duos, and ranked squads, I believe. But let's let's jump into it and see what we got here. Um, this is the very very first the first part is you know after you agree to the terms and agreements. Welcome, prospector. Create your character. These choices are purely cosmetic and do not affect gameplay. All right. So we just got skin basically. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, it's, it's not that I'm racist or anything, but black people that have blonde hair and they got them weird eyes, and, like, they're hard to look at. I can't do it. Like an albino black person, I can't. Can't do it. <laughs> That's super racist. I know it sounds racist as fuck, but I'm not, I'm not racist at all. Oh, let's see. You look like an emo chick. What's wrong? What's wrong, emo? Then, yeah, it was going to be like that, you know, but tracker no the gambler I like that and I kind of like this one Here we go black Like a steampunk, kind of like that one. Looks like you're about to go in the nuclear water. It's kind of cowboy western. I like that one. Kind of fits. That's right. Oh, it's a purple. It's a purple loadout. This one. settings everyone wants fame and fortune and prospectors are no different here that means gaining as many victory points as you can then getting off the planet before the cycle storm hits you get victory points by completing contracts whoever gets the most victory points and manages to evac wins the match the better you do the faster you'll gain access to new guns kits and other tools to help you compete cool. we gotta... right Time to try out your first contract. Check your scanner. Should be something of interest just ahead. Scanner's middle mouse button. Look at these things. That's a Veltasite vein. The stuff just sprouts from the ground every few days. Very convenient. That's cool. to collect, hold up to collect. Good. 
There should be another Valtasite vein nearby for you to mine. There we go. Careful. Larger veins will attract tougher monsters. Oh, we do have a shaft. We do have a slide. So you do have to look at it, okay. Mineral contract completed, and you've earned your first victory points. Completing contracts and taking out hostile creatures gets you cash All you right. can use on the surface. Open up. You earned yourself one. enough cash from that contract to buy yourself a new gun. It's 200 cents. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, whoa. Nice choice. Better and more powerful weapons will do a lot towards keeping you alive on the surface. Now, go ahead and check your map. Kind of look back at this, okay? Hold E or to pick up turret. Alright, so more. I want to see if I can get a gun in place of this pistol. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We can hold three. Hold three guns. Cool deal. Valuable biomass samples to kill. Always remember to pick them up. All right, hold it up. Uh, pick them up. Good job. You've completed another contract and gained more victory points. Well, those were just two sample contracts. You'll find more types on the real planet. And they won't be as easy. Okay, now, get over to that big platform. Alright, I kinda wanna change my key bindings here. Um... Alright, check this out. So we'll do it like this. Um... Jump will remain spacebar. I'm gonna. I have a uh, this mouse on. Um, let's see if we can pull it over. Here. This mouse has a lot of key bindings. I mean, for my thumb. Look, all right here. All right here. There's uh, there's 12 buttons, and that's why I'm going to put for my. Hmm, first three are definitely gonna be for the. Uh, for the guns, and then the next row, four, five, and six, will be for sliding. No, I think I'll four, five, and six. I'll I'll leave for the switch weapons, and then the crouch and the sprint. That's definitely gonna have to be changed. So, 
branch is shift. That's okay. Alright, we'll put that. That's crouch. Okay, gear store is fine. Reload weapon is fine. Switch. There we go. There we go. And weapon four. We can, we can deal with that. Weapon four. We can... Alright, so none of them are overlapping. Activate ability one, activate ability two. It's Q and E. Interact, emergencies teleport, talk a map. Offer packed is T. Alright. Toggle help overlay. No, we're good with that. Interject. Push to talk is right alt. I don't like right alt. Um. What about caps lock? Is caps lock bounce anything? Talk. Well, I can hit. I can. Hit, I guess I can hit with my thumb. Uh, my thumb. I'll try it. Let's see. On uh, the surface, you'll anybody? be competing against other prospectors. Most will be hostile, but some may be open to a pack. Spawn dummy. Try pack. Oh, pack. My bad. Hello. Good call. When you're in a pack, you'll be sharing progress and won't be able to damage each other. Two guns are better than one, but you'll be losing your shield as a trade-off. And remember, packs can be broken by either party. When the cycle starts to rise and the storm gets bad, an evac ship will come down to pick any survivors up. The ship won't land if there are hostile creatures in the landing zone. Stowaways oh, can be a real problem. Come on, take those monsters out! Contracts, Not kill monsters, bad. deal with rivals, and evac. It's simple. So what we're gonna go to the station, returning to the station. Alright, got it. Uh, this is a play screen. From here you can select which game mode to queue for and play. Virtual matches allow for playing a match with no other players. While they do not grant rewards, they are good for training. The shooting range allows for quickly testing your loadout as well as try out any weapon or ability. Tutorial virtual match and virtual training can be launched while matchmaking. 
You will be pulled into the match when a game is found. Oh, that's cool. I really like that aspect of it. Let's see. Factions. This is the faction stream. Factions control prospect station and hire prospectors to complete contracts on the surface. You can choose to work for any of these three factions at the start of a match. With your standing increasing based on your final match position, improve your standing with to unlock access to blueprints, weapons, kits, abilities, and more. Here you can see your progress with each faction and what their next standing to levels will grant you. Okay. All right. Next unlocks will be this. All right. Yeah, the turret. Heavy weapons plus armor, building large scale and cheap structures. Let's go with. Well. Okay. Guess you. Let's make something together. Your items are crafted using blueprints, which is which are granted. All right. So, in this game, your crafting is a huge, huge aspect of the game. Um, this is not play to win. When you pay for anything, it's purely cosmetic. So it's not a pay, uh, it's not pay per win. So that's one of the reasons why I actually chose to start playing the game, just to, just to test it out, just to make a video on it. So I don't make you know 10, 15, 20, 30 minute videos any longer. It's I'm I'm not doing that. I'm, my play gameplay session is how long it's gonna be. So is the game bugged? Logged in for the first time. My loadout seems pretty bugged out. Can't select anything. Gay ass. Oops. Sorry. Whatever. All right. Your items are crafted using blueprints. I already read that. Uh, here you can craft items from your blueprints. Checks the requirements needed for crafting and headed to the item details to modify your crafted items. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got ooh, we got the vector. It looks like. That's what the vector looks like. Let me. Let me. Uh, it's a type of sniper. It's a weird looking gun thing. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Alright, so what I'm looking at is down here, it gives you slots, so I guess this is for different attachments. Oh, wow. They have a bunch of guns. Wow. We call that the donut hole. That's what I would call that. Shotgun. Ooh, baby. Level 10. Alright, so what is that? What is this thing? It's a howitzer. Holy shit. Damage 550. While able to neutralize heavy armored targets, the Carla howitzer is unwieldy, unwieldy and suffers from low rate of fire. Rocket launcher called Zeus for turning any mortal into the god of lightning. This weapon will fulminate any creature that meets your divine ire. Magazine size 70, damage 55. Okay. Hmm. We're going to go with our weapon here this is the item detail screen here you can see information on the selected item as well as customize it with mods or vanity I oh vanity what is that items can be crafted from blueprints if you have the required crafting materials and faction standing hmm so you actually have I guess when you do contracts for certain factions you get certain blueprints they can also be scrapped to recover some of their crafting materials items must be equipped to your loadout in order to be purchasable in match okay so you don't start out with a gun you actually have to buy it from the gear store while in the game that's freaking cool all right so you got body uh, mods can be applied to weapons and kits to alter the behavior each mod is unique to that item, even if a similar mod exists for another item. Here, you'll be able to craft and equip item mods as well as see the effects they will have. Alright, 
All right, conversion chamber stabilizer, longer barrel, short barrel, short barrel, long barrel, of course, would be the and decrease the spread. All right, these are the items I need to craft that. That's cool. All right, stock improves stability, improves handling. Basic detail weapon skins. All right, magazine. Increased magazine capacity and faster reload. That's so. That's not bad. I'm liking this so far. Changes fire mode to burst fire. Set the rhythm. <laughs> Improves stability. Extended barrel. Extended personal space. So. Even though there's a perk to everything, there's always a negative as well. I'm looking, see the green and see the red. So you got stability that's all damage is up, but your damage per second and round per minute changes. That's I like that. So there's not anything that's going to be OP, you know. Cool. He's xenotoxin coated rounds. Damage to monsters, 120%. Damage to rivals, it's a negative, it's 80. Wow, okay. Is there anything I can. Oh wow, there's the plus only. Improves the ability. Full auto. Wow. That's cool. Detail. Here's all the different weak spots, damage, damage to monsters, rivals, firing intervals. Wow. That's really cool. Wow, this thing gets pretty in depth. That is some really looking techy looking shit. Materials. Here's all the different types of materials that one would need. Cadmium, nickel, polymetic, prefabricate, and titan ore. Hardened metals, magnetite, mallard needles, polonium, polonium crystal, optic glass, power cell, pure velcid, singing spaceman, toxic glands. This is freaking cool, man. Alright. Here's my kit. Improved regen, less interruptions, less affected by damage interrupts when we're interacting, slower cooldown abilities, low HP defense. When on the No, shut up. Low HP defense, reduce damage while sprinting, does what it says on the label. <laughs> Stronger shields, shields increased by 100, maximum movement speed is lowered. Wow, so you're a lot slower, but your shield is higher. Tier 3, more effective handling on pistols, in air damage, deal more and receive more damage while in the air. Faster ability cooldowns. Damage increase on kills, heal on kills, in air armor. Gain more XP, but have reduced health. Wow. That's pretty brutal. That's, that's a huge... Materials, abilities... 
This is a health boost. Heavy turret. Trigon spear. A device that emits energy field to assist Proctor's kit's healing rate. That's cool. A deployed scanner that reveals prospectors and objectives on the map. Man, this is freaking awesome. Keeper Vitalizer fires a beam that can heal allied prospectors and fix friendly mechanical devices. The charge canister can be also be used to heal the operator when injured. Recall teleport allows the user to set a recall location to which you can teleport to a demand useful for those wanting to get out of a difficult situation. Rides. Wait, what? A simple off road grab bike capable of quickly carrying a crossword across the surface of. That's freaking cool! What? We're gonna have freaking. This is your loadout. Each match you start with only the items on the left and a secondary weapon and a kit. Your kit affects your health and movement abilities, such as access to a jetpack or rapid dodging. On the right, you can select which items you want available to purchase during a match via the gear store. The gear store is in your the gear store is your in-match selection of items to purchase with in-match currency. Huh. Huh. Add that in there. Then modify what? Alright, this is the item detail screen. Here you see information as well as customizable. Okay, we already heard that one. Yeah, so we'll equip that. Alright, there it is right there. I'm just playing these. Okay. Pistols. Okay. You only have a chance of four pistols. Four. Alright. Alright, so I guess literally the only thing to do is jump in the game and play. Okay, so we're gonna do solo, start alone, packing enabled. Four players, teams packing disabled, five teams. So we're going to let's jump on a solo. We'll try to start solo, and we will we'll go into a virtual match. Why not? It says it will it'll take us out of virtual match and put us into a game. So we'll actually get to get you know gameplay while we're trying to search for a match. That is freaking cool as crap. Getting to play bots because it is player versus environment, right? So. That's pretty legit. This is a lithium gas vent. Interact with it to place a refiner. Refiners slowly work towards reaching the contract's resource quota. Refiners display their owner and current refining rate. This rate will increase the longer the refiner is active. You will have 20 minutes to complete contracts before needing to evacuate from the planet. 
Your map will highlight available contracts. Be aware that rival prospectors may compete for them with varying degrees of hostility. Fortunately, oh, there are hurt. no rivals present in this simulation, leaving you free to test out various oh, contracts sorry. without interference. This is a Veltaside vein outcropping. Interact with it to call down a mineral drill. Collecting the drilled minerals will count towards your minerals contract progress. Note that the drill will attract hostile creatures. Larger veins will provide more minerals, but take longer to complete and attract more and tougher creatures. Drilling has started. You must now defend the drill from waves of hostile attacks, or the drill will be destroyed. Which one? That one? I only have 30 cents. Such a beautiful game. Okay, power souls. Alright, make sure that we have a little bit of gas, I mean a little bit of jetpack fuel, or whatever that is. You want to install a gas refiner? Good, uh, for the environment. Alright, here they come. Oh, something's going. Is that somebody? <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's cool as shit. That is a badass game. Holy crap.
up on some equipment. Looks like another beautiful day on Fortuna's Bridge. Station game closed. Don't turn it back down. I'm grabbing that. I like that. What's up, guys? Now, get ready. loud. That was like in my ear. Alright. Here goes nothing. New contracts available. Complete as many as you can, then get off this rock before the cycle closes in. Alright, we got something over here. This is a lithium refiner owned by a rival prospector. You can destroy it in order to place your own, or interact with it to take it over and keep its current refining rate. Taking over a rival's refiner will keep its current refining rate, but will alert your rival of your name and current location. Enough for anything yet? No, I only have 30. This is my Be careful, the other prospector will know you stole the Recalibrated to match increased operator performance. Oh, 
No, I'm a little bit faster. That's cool. Gas vent marked. Putting down a gas refiner. this over here okay um gas vent marked putting down a gas refiner Someone's gas refiner. That won't make you very popular. Yeah, it is. We are changing to another uplink location in a bit. We're almost done here. have done a good job, but you should keep some more running. Alert! Engaged by hostile group. This is a zeal shard. You can pick it up to begin generating score towards the zeal contract. Now carrying a zeal crystal. Warning! Carrying a zeal shard will make you visible on rival prospectors maps. The shard will be dropped automatically if you take too much damage. Multiple hostile prospectors engaging. Emergency triage engaged. Demise averted. You're welcome. Damn it. Ooh. Dude, I was on it. First time playing ain't too bad, you know? One of your refiners has just been stolen. A rival prospector is taking over one of your refiners. Check your map to see their location.
This is an uplink relay. Stay within the highlighted area to capture it. Active uplinks will switch location over time. Streaming from the uplink now. Thank you, Prospector. This uplink is now yours. You can leave the area without losing ownership. But rival prospectors may attempt to take the uplink from you. Notice, operator exceeded expectation. New kit subroutines enabled. Your signal's corrupted. Someone is hijacking the uplink connection. A rival prospector has taken over your uplink. To continue your progress in the uplink contract, you can attempt to take it back, or move towards the next active uplink location. I'm taking it back. That's what I'm doing. Be aware that an uplink's current owner will be notified if a rival is attempting to capture it. Streaming from the uplink now. Thank you, Prospector. We are changing to another uplink location in a bit. We are almost done here. location has switched and you are no longer the uplink owner. You can attempt to capture the new location to continue progress in the uplink contract. This is the Fortuna Pass screen. The Fortuna Pass allows you to get exclusive rewards by completing challenges and earning XP to level up throughout the season. Go to XS will reward you with even more items as progress. Yeah, and that's just like any other freaking game. Alright, um, so what do you actually get, like, when you upgrade? Alright. Huh. 
that's cool. Alright. Gunslinger, kill hostile creatures and pist with pistols. Alright. Uh, just process around. Finish matches. Four matches. Alright. Um, Sixthly, back in a squad match. Me and the crew. Okay. Get off my learn. Earn points from the uplink contract. This is freaking awesome, man. I like. I really like. I'm really, really liking this game. Just kill monsters near uplink locations. Minerals. Earn minerals from mineral contracts. Kill monsters near uplink locations. SMG kills. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, I got some materials this time. Ooh, I can actually upgrade something. Holographic site. That's cool. Control chamber improves stability. Self control can be difficult. Let us help. I don't like the damage. I want damage, not less damage. Extended magazine. Yeah, I like that. Let's craft that. Oh. I'm not my pistol, my pistol. I use that a lot, so. I great spring. Okay. Magazine. Increase magazine capacity. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking Can I craft that? I can craft this. Oh, I'm going into the game. Right, let's see. the game down in the comment section the uh if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button like the video new contracts available complete as many as you can then get off this rock before the cycle closes in Marked. Putting down a gas refiner. Uh, these are the ones you have to pick up. I think these. Which one spawn dudes? Some. One of these spawn guys. I forget. Sending 
Holding down a gas refiner. to match operator performance. Just over here. Some other prospector has taken over your refiner. Alert! Engaged by hostile prospector. Good call. Damn it, I need help! Damn it. Alright, good shit. Try anyway. Vital stabilized. I spawned over here. Where you at? Where you at? Warning. Pact expiring. Pact broken. Damn it. Oh. That's cool that we joined a pack. That was fucking badass. Friendly. Packed request sent. Yeah, let's go.
changing to another uplink location in a bit. We're almost done here. Careful with that. It's hot. Such a fun game, man. See, um, can I craft this? New. that either can't craft that either just in a magazine we'll craft that up weapon spread increases movement speed Sprint recovery time, maximum spread.
improves weapon handling, heavy stock improves the stability. Time to equip, time to aim down sight. ADS means aim down sight, so. Yeah, we definitely need vertical re recoil speed. like I'm going to a squad. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't remember what I had for chat. Um, just to talk. Cool deal. Uh, left alt, but I also changed my key bindings. Uh, I got 12 thumb buttons on my mouse, and I, I changed them to that. Also, just to let you know, we are recording on uh, YouTube. Dude, I'm loving this fucking game, man. Like, this is will be my third match, I believe. I wish when you push the push the talk button, it gave you like a little speaker or something to let you know that you're actually contacting the talk So what level are y'all? All right, so basically the same level as me. I think I'm a two or a three. Oh. Never mind, I'm a level one, I think. I see on the top left, the daily challenges, and I, it says level one.
Oh, your level up professions? Huh. Alright guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about the game. Until next time, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe. Please subscribe and like the video. It doesn't really cost anything, just drop a like. It helps out the YouTube channel so much.